Nimble Streamer allows receiving WebRTC WIP ingest in order to use it in further processing. WebRTC allows low latency ingest, which makes it a good source for NDI streaming output. In this tutorial, we'll show how to produce NDI from WebRTC ingest. We have a pre-configured Nimble Streamer instance running the latest Nimble version and transcoder add-on with active license. WebRTC requires a Nimble instance to have SSL properly set up, which we already have done. Also, it needs two parameters added into config files in order to enable the feature. Please check the full WebRTC tutorial for more details about that. To receive WebRTC ingest, we need to set up an application. Add its name and define publishing credentials. Notice that once you test the pipeline, we recommend using the publish control feature set to avoid using plain user and password in your production environment. Let's check if WebRTC can be ingested. We use our server IP, app name, a test stream name, and defined credentials. We also specify the video codec we want to use, which is optional. Once we click on publish and give permissions to stream, we'll see an image from our camera. Let's see if the stream is received properly. We go to the web control panel, open the outgoing streams and see video parameters. The next step is to set up a transcoding scenario to transfer WebRTC VP8 video and Opus Audio into NDI output. We create a scenario which is used for this purpose. Let's add a video decoder element and specify our WebRTC input. In the encoder element we choose NDI as the encoder type and define a name for our future NDI source. Now we add an audio decoder for the same WebRTC source. Before creating audio encoder, we put a filter called a format and define it as shown. This allows changing the audio format properly, otherwise NDI will not be available. Now we add audio encoder with NDI and use the same NDI source name as we did for video. We click on save and once the scenario is saved and synced up to the server, our NDI source will become available. Let's use the Sienna NDI monitor to check the NDI source that we've just created. As you can see, the pipeline works perfectly and the latency is ultra low, just a split of a second. Feel free to try this pipeline for your use case. Please check this video description for all related articles and tutorials.